All right, folks, thanks for stopping by the channel. I want to talk about a tweet and subsequent article posted by CNN. So earlier today, CNN posted a tweet stating, right-wing extremist Tucker Carlson will relaunch his program on Twitter, a platform he praised as the only remaining large free speech platform in the world after Fox News fired him late last month. Now, on the face of it, you could hate Tucker Carlson. You could love Tucker Carlson. But he's clearly within the mainstream of American conservatism. That's just a fact. So they're freaking out here about Tucker being unshackled from the constraints of corporate media. Now, if we actually look at the article here, this is, this is by a guy called Oliver Darcy, who's been at CNN for a little while and really he doesn't have an ounce of integrity calling a guy like Tucker Carlson an extremist. He just not. So the article goes on to state here, right wing extremist Tucker Carlson announced Tuesday that he will relaunch his program on Twitter, which he praised as the only remaining large free speech platform in the world after Fox News fired him late last month. Carlson made the announcement in a video posted to the social media website, which Elon Musk acquired last year. <laughs> now get this. He says Twitter has devolved in recent months into a chaotic platform where the traditional press has come under assault from the billionaire. Okay, I've been on Twitter for over 10 years. So I've seen I've seen Twitter almost from when it started. And I can tell you that Twitter is functioning much more efficiently than it did prior to Elon Musk taking over. Has it devolved into some chaotic, chaotic mess? Now, mainstream press is being fact-checked in, in a legitimate fashion when they lie on their tweets. I wouldn't call that an assault. I would just call that holding them to account. But this guy, Oliver Darcy, he's a, he's a show for the establishment. So he doesn't like to be held accountable for <laughs> the things he actually says. Um, he goes on to say here, Carlson demonized the news media in his announcement video, accusing journalists of often excluding facts that detract from their narratives. He did not mention Musk has censored speech on Twitter, including banning several prominent reporters from the website just last year. Although Carlson did not directly address his abrupt firing from Fox News in the video, he strongly alluded to it. Uh, the Wall Street Journal, which is controlled by Fox Corporation Chairman Rupert Murdoch, reported last month that Carlson's contract with Fox News was worth about $20 million a year. The newspaper reported that Carlson was expected to be paid out in full. His move to launch a show on Twitter could jeopardize whether he ultimately receives that money. Spokesperson for Fox Corporation cannot be immediately reached for comment on the matter. Aside from former President Donald Trump, Carlson was arguably the most powerful voice inside the Republican Party with lawmakers fearing his wrath and appearing on his program in a symbolic bow to his feet. Oh, but this guy's an extremist, right? He's on he's on the, the, the far rungs of conservatism when they're basically debunking their own narrative here by, by stating that. Uh, Carlson was able to achieve that influence by posting high ratings, but his monster viewership numbers were earned through the trafficking of anti-immigrant rhetoric false conspiracy theories, and the promotion of white nationalist talking points. Musk has helped to elevate the visibility of far-right figures on the platform, both by engaging with their tweets from his personal account and by allowing them to pay for Twitter blue accounts, which provides them verified blue checks and comes with greater prominence in search. Musk has urged his millions of followers to vote Republican and also appeared on Carlson's show on Fox shortly before he was let go. So a guy that considers himself or has historically considered himself more of a more of a leftist and if anything more of a centrist Elon Musk is somehow now now also an extremist I guess because he's allowing free speech and he's actually telling people to vote Republican because because there's because they're such uh, zealots, right? 
So I, I thought that this was this was completely unhinged. It was completely laughable. You know, in the last year or so, CNN has been trying to sort of rebuild their news operation and build themselves as more of a quote unquote unbiased or centrist news organization. But when they're putting out junk like this, I mean, this just goes against their whole their whole uh, tack to the middle here. So. Um, I just wanted to point this out. I, I thought it was funny. I mean, I, I actually laughed. <laughs> I actually laughed when I when I first saw this. And uh, curious to know what, what you all think. I mean, is this just par for the course for, for CNN? Uh, obviously, they see uh, Tucker no longer being under the control of Fox News as a threat to their organization as well. So... Let me know what you all think, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.